I want us to see how the most popular blockchains out there compare to the Internet Computer Protocol with one simple test hosting a phone photo on the blockchain. And I think that you will be surprised by the results because, you know, you think it's a phone photo. What's the big deal? Well, it's going to turn out that is a pretty big deal. And the blockchains that we are going to do the test for are the usual suspects, the big ones that everybody should be familiar with. So I'm talking about Solana, Avalanche, people's favorite for the past couple of weeks, Sui, Nier, Aptos, and the Internet Computer Protocol. The big problem that we are currently facing in blockchain and in Web3 is that marketing is moving faster than the actual technology. And although you hear that most of those blockchains are pushing on-chain adoption, real Web3 and whatnot, you will find out that this is in fact not true. Those blockchains are using words like on-chain, powered by Avalanche, powered by Solana, powered by this and that, without it actually meaning anything you'll find out that those blockchains are actually in fact powered by Amazon Web Services or other centralized cloud providers because they cannot host anything besides their tokens and little bits of DeFi logic in the form of smart contracts on those blockchains. Out of all people, Elon Musk called out the fact that not even NFTs, which you would expect, and I think that a lot of people think are being hosted on blockchains, they are not. And the only thing that is hosted on the blockchain is a link that forwards you towards your NFT, which is hosted on Amazon Web Services, which is crazy. When people are saying, I can just, you know, right click and save as your NFT, we would tell them, no, you're a hard because you actually can't do that. My NFT lives on the blockchain. Well, it turns out that it actually doesn't live on the blockchain, except if you're using the Internet Computer Protocol. At first, I wanted to, to use some photos of Dominic Williams or Jan Kamenisch, but those are from the internet, so they're not really phone photos. So I decided to use this phone photo from my own phone with the Google guy. So I think it's safe to say that a phone photo is about two megabytes large. So I went to ChatGPT and I asked the bot to tell me how much it would cost to store a two megabyte phone photo on each of the most popular blockchains. And here we're looking at Solana, Avalanche, Sui, Aptos, Near, and the Internet Computer Protocol. And let's check it out. You may think, it, you know, it's a, just a phone photo. It's two megabytes. It's, okay, it's not gonna be as cheap as Amazon Web Services, but it's probably be like $10, $15, right? Well, we're gonna have a surprise. So here is a breakdown of the estimated cost of storing two megabytes phone photo on Solana, Avalanche, Sui, Aptos, Near, and the Internet Computer Protocol. And these estimates assume current rates and common practices on these blockchains. Solana charges rent for storing data on chain and users can pay to make their storage rent exempt. And the rent cost on Solana is approximately this per byte per year. And you would have to pay 1.8 thousand sol per year to have a two megabyte phone photo hosted on the Solana blockchain. One Solana is $155. You'd have to pay around $200,000 per year just to have your phone photo there or your NFT or whatever. And here we're talking about a two megabyte phone photo. So not a huge file by any means. Let's see Avalanche. Avalanche is designed for smart contracts and decentralized apps, but it is not optimized for large file storage directly on chain. How is it designed for smart contracts and decentralized apps? If you cannot actually host those decentralized apps on the blockchain, well, you tell me in the comments. And actually there is no official rate but it is expensive for large files like images similar to other high performance blockchains. So if we are going to assume that the price is similar to that on Solana, I think we're looking at a 100,000 or up to $200,000 uh, to host your phone photo or your NFT or whatever two megabytes uh, gets you on Avalanche as well. So Avalanche is not recommended for large file storage and off-chain solutions are commonly used. Cool, let's go to people's favorite, Sui. Sui is focused on high throughput and smart contracts, but there is no official rate for large file storage. Sui charges gas fees for transactions and file storage would involve paying gas. Since storage is not Sui's primary use case, it is not feasible to store large files on-chain. 
likely to be expensive with rough estimates running into thousands of dollars. Another people's favorite is Aptos. And once again, Aptos prices for storing two megabytes is not explicitly defined, but would likely be several thousands of dollars. I think it's in the range of tens of thousands of dollars and not just thousands of dollars. And like Sui and Solana, Aptos is not ideal for large file storage. Once again, we're talking about a two megabyte phone photo here, not about a, a multi gigabyte or terabyte. Uh, file or social media platform or anything. We're talking about a bare minimum. We're trying to upload a phone photo to those blockchains. Another blockchain that is pushing this on-chain narrative, claiming to be a big innovator in the space is Near. Near charges a fee based on the amount of data stored in smart contracts and the data can be stored permanently on-chain by paying the storage cost upfront. To store one byte, it costs you this amount of Near per year. 2 megabytes equals 2 million bytes and the annual cost would be 2,500 near per year. And if one near costs $1, which one near doesn't cost $1, it actually costs around $5 right now, it would cost you around $11,000 per year to host a phone photo on near protocol. So all of those projects, all of those blockchains are claiming that, you know, we are pushing the, the future of Web3, on-chain is the new internet, all those, you know, marketing stunts and words that actually turns out they don't mean anything because you cannot host a phone photo on your blockchain, let alone decentralize an entire social media app or service on the blockchain. So everybody is using Amazon Web Services or other centralized cloud providers. Let's see how everything else measures to the Internet Computer Protocol, which is one of the only innovators in the space. It's not just a copy of a copy of a copy of a blockchain. It's actually pushing the boundaries to what Web3 actually means. ICP is designed for decentralized storage and web hosting. It is significantly cheaper for data storage compared to other blockchains. Storing one gigabyte for one year costs one ICP. Two megabytes means this little of a gigabyte and the annual cost to host a phone photo on the Internet Computer Protocol is this. This is 0.002 ICP. So it costs you less than a cent to host a phone photo on the Internet Computer Protocol. Not only is it millions of times cheaper than any other blockchains out there to actually host your NFTs or your decentralized apps on the actual blockchain, this is what we should be pushing towards because the on-chain narrative is that everything should be on-chain and everything will be on-chain in the future. You see all the blockchains pushing this marketing that on-chain is the new internet. And well, when it comes down to the numbers, the only blockchain that can actually do it is the Internet Computer Protocol. So let's have a look at the summary here. So Solana is not $36,000 per year, it's more like $200,000. And all of those blockchains, the cheapest one would be near, which at the current near price would be $10,000 or $11,000 per year to actually host this phone photo. Where is the real innovation? Who is pushing the boundaries when it comes to blockchain technology and Web3 adoption and actually going on chain? It is only one player and that is the Internet Computer Protocol. And I think that it would be a cool experiment to actually take those pictures of Dominic Williams and Jan Kamenich, which are smaller than a phone photo, those actually take uh, around 82 kilobytes, so super small. Maybe get them even smaller. And in, in a future video, if you guys are interested, maybe we try and get those photos uploaded on the Solana blockchain, if it's even possible. Imagine how funny it would be that the only thing that is actually on the Solana blockchain is a photo of Dominic Williams and Jan Kamenich. I think that would be pretty fun. If you're interested in this, let me know in the comment section below and we will continue this series to find out how other blockchains compare to the Internet Computer Protocol in different metrics. Thank you very much and I hope you found this video interesting and I'll see you in the next one.